This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Yes, we are talking about Nicki Minaj today. I hope you guys are having a great weekend with family. That's why I have not been dropping as many videos, but you know, we're getting back to normal now, okay? It's back until Christmas. Okay, so let's get into it. Hope you guys are having a good day. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Well, today we're talking about Nicki Minaj. It seems like that there is a, a uh, Voltron forming against Nicki Minaj. Now, I saw in a recent thing with little Kim, she's flirting with the idea of working with Drake. Now, will Drake work with her? Her sales are horrible, but a lot of people revere little Kim as still the queen. Um, she named him and she said, Lady, Lady Gaga and her could do something special and Drake, maybe, you know, I love him, it's different. We'll do a lot of other things special too. Um, he just very talented. He's funny. He's cool. He really, really cute. So she's really flirting it up with Drake, even though she's dating some other guy. So that other guy right now is probably like, yo, man, <laughs> you get a little thirsty for Drake. Okay. Um, she also said uh, she couldn't recall anyone who flat out turned her down ever. She said, I don't think so. Um, I don't really ask people for favors. A lot of people may do it for me or then whatever. I don't know if it, it'll be anyone will decline me. I know at times it doesn't work with people's schedules. Just so you know, when people doesn't work with people's schedules, they're turning you down, okay? <laughs> it's a nice way of saying, nah. <laughs> um, and then she also said, uh, we're still trying to this day to make it happen with certain people. You know, I'm going to be honest. Like, she's strategically moving. Uh, if you saw her interview a few weeks ago, she... She said she passed the crown to Cardi B. So if she was going to do a Lady Marmalade remix, it would be Cardi B's decision who's on it because she's the queen. She's totally bypassing everything Nikki does because, you know, Nikki and her had a issue. Now, I must say this, okay? Now, just being honest, I am all for Nikki, okay? Like, I'm proud of her. She did a lot, you know. Who couldn't be proud of that, you know? She just... Or just see it and be like, wow, you know, give her her props, you know. But Little Kim didn't go out gracefully in 2008, 9, 10, 11. She buckled hard against Nikki, <coughs> claimed that Nikki was taking her style with the wigs and everything. And she really doubled down on that. And it didn't look good for Little Kim, okay? Because Little Kim was always revered as the queen of hip hop. You know, she got that title you know 96 on okay and uh she held it for a long time until the new challenger came in okay nikki came in and she dominated dominated for i would say a good seven years until cardi b arrived in 2017 cardi b arrived she was ushered into this era and of course it's weird how this happened Somehow there was a friction between Cardi and Nikki. We can go through many different scenarios. Everybody has an opinion about that. But um, we have to be honest here. Hey, maybe Nikki felt challenged because the industry was pushing for Cardi B. And they uh, they didn't they just didn't work together, okay? Uh, now, there's been this thing going back and forth for two years between these two, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, and now people are starting to pick sides inside with Cardi B. I've seen Cash Doll. Kim's kind of like put the alley, instead of doubling down against Nicki now, she kind of like alley-oops Cardi B. Uh, Drake and Nicki have a, a problem with each other. We don't know what that's over. Maybe it's over her, uh, you know, getting engaged. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Or maybe it's because of the whole Meek Mill issue and he felt that Nicki was egging Meek on during that whole thing, you know, because now Meek Mill and Drake are cool. So, you know, he knows something that we don't. It's a little spooky, you know. Are they trying to get Nikki out of here? Um, I don't think that's the way, but it seems like Cash Doll, everybody's forming together to push Nikki out. And the only, But I do like that Nikki's not responding to the whole Cash Doll thing or the little Kim slights here and there because... That's not the way to win that battle. There has to be a strategy in place because uh, it's such a powerful thing. Anyways, guys, I will check you guys on the next one. Let me know what you guys think below. This is Jordan Tower with JT News.